first, fast, accurate. With Jennifer Copeland and Rick Schutt, you're watching WSBT 22 News at 6. New at 6, Indiana House has voted to repeal the state's common construction wage. Now, it's an 80-year-old law that sets a base requirement for how much companies must pay their workers. WSBT 22 Zach Crenshaw has been following this story all day long and joins us at the Update Center with more tonight. Zach. The final vote was 55 to 41 in favor of repealing the measure. It was a heated discussion in the House this afternoon. Now, the wage is a government-set minimum that construction companies must pay employees. Many Republicans say the market should set the price, which will benefit taxpayers. But opposition to the repeal say the skilled construction workers and in industry will be the ones hurt. These construction sites were quiet today, but they won't be this summer. There's so much work going on in this area, potentially out for bids. You can't find enough employees to work. Steve Henry is the president of the Robert Henry Corporation and isn't in favor of repealing the common construction wage. I think that's doing nothing but hurting our ability to track qualified workforce, a qualified workforce right now that isn't even available. If the common wage is gone, there would be no standard minimum companies have to pay their employees. What the critics are, are, are saying is that um, it's, it's not right for government to set those wages. Those, you know, it's free market that, uh, that the uh, private sector ought to be able to, uh, to pay whatever wages. Chamber of Commerce President Jeff Ray says those against the wage requirement argue it will save taxpayers money. We can reduce construction costs, the amount of money we pay for, uh, for a public works project if the free market sets those wages versus if, if the government sets those. Don Fozo, director of the Michiana Builders Association, says taxpayers may not save much if the quality of work goes down. The cheapest is not always the best for the taxpayer because it needs to last once it's built. Fozo also says the minimum helps level the playing field between union and non-union shops and ensures workers have benefits and are well trained. My biggest concern is jobs not being done properly by qualified contractors, by qualified workers. A lot of people I spoke with say it's not clear at this point whether a repeal will actually impact worker wages. Now, the bigger issue for companies is keeping top talent. And to do that, they say they often need to pay workers above the common wage anyway. Now, even though this repeal passed the House today, it still needs to make its way through the Indiana Senate. And, that's, and some political experts say it could face a tougher battle there. In the studio, Zach Crenshaw, WSBT 22 News.